Okay. Mine is pretty simple. I'm sure you guys have done it, but I know everybody, um, I don't know if you guys can see this now. Uh, just uh, all my uh, little Mindy's didn't know really how to use YouTube. And I feel like that's all I do in athletics is YouTube. Um, so you guys can see I have, I don't even know, 5,000 videos. Um, Cause it's kind of what kids like to do. Um, at the end of all my courses, I make a highlight video for every student athlete. Um, so then they could always go back and kind of see what they accomplished for the year. So kind of like in a course, but our courses are a little different since you're doing activities. Um, but I, uh, after I did uh, my online certification, I really liked how they did like the introduction because I feel like the first day on campus, you would always introduce yourself, kind of go over like the syllabus, things like that, which now kids can't see, especially um, new students. I feel like older students now are comfortable with Canvas, but all my new students are like completely lost, um, which I learned for uh, what I'm doing for my summer. So instead of having to email each kid back and forth, uh, I just did like an introduction video, which you guys do on your certification. So I was just gonna go through uh, generally, because I have questions. Um, first, you have to have a YouTube account, at first, of course, and then you go to the little camera, and then you upload a video. So I decided I just did like a 20 second video this morning, just so then I could edit it so you guys can see. So you just have to upload your video. This was me this morning. So you just upload it. I'm sure you guys know how to do this. Um, they always tell you to do title and then after the title, I know, um, sometimes I used to make mine private, but the problem is in with private, you can't share the link. Um, so I always do not for kids, even if it's just a video. Um, and then you just click next. Again, I'm sure you guys know these steps. Um, so I always do public uh, with private it's hard to share the link so you can share it on like your canvas and everything but just say if a kid uh, can't find it or if you were going to email them or everything then they can't open it on private so I do public and then it will process takes a second um, so when that's processing it should be quick if it's quick run. Um, so the captioning part, I used to not do. I would just publicize it, but I know with now with uh, some kids with disabilities, um, I actually had a student athlete hard of hearing. Um, it's easier to do the caption so they know actually what you're saying. So you could do that in a video or then I did this for my summer class. Let's see if this is out real quick. Let me try and do this. Um, so kind of with classes, um, everyone introduces themselves and uh, we usually group up in like uh, who has certain majors uh, just so they can kind of help each other throughout the course, not just with our course, but actually like what majors they're getting into, what would be the next course they're taking, um, maybe they need help in another course. So I did this one, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, let's see if it will play it. So for my summer class, um, I did just to uh, introduce you. Sorry, is that loud? Can you guys hear it? Okay, sorry if it's loud. Um, so our little like TikTok, because remember kids love TikToks. So that's the only way I feel like they pay attention. So we did that. And then we just did each little kid. I'll just go through um, all the instructor coaches in the course. And then it was cool seeing what kids actually transferred this year. So the kids that are in the summer course that are graduating, where they're going, um, just so we can show the freshmen coming in, their end goal, whatever their end goal is. Um, and then we did all the new incomers. So I had the kids, freshmen do either an action shot or a graduation pick since they didn't really have graduation this year. Um, and then they know their major, uh, what high school they came from, other interests, uh, just to try to get them a little more involved in the discussions. Because I feel like when my spring class went to remote, discussions were me responding to everybody instead of the students responding to each other. Uh, so I feel like doing this kind of helped them to engage in, okay, I'm a kinese major, she's a kinese major, okay, we can help each other with this, if that makes sense. Um, so I stopped sharing. I don't know if you guys have questions. 